Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the next playthrough of uh, the Scarlet Keys campaign. And uh, uh, let's first do some blob trotting before we get to our next scenario. So, uh, we ended up doing quite badly in uh, Constantinople. So, uh, I only got one experience from that scenario, so I decided to bank that experience and use it later when I get a bit more experience to upgrade my deck. So, uh, we, uh, without uh, more delay, we headed out from Constantinople to Moscow. So, in Moscow, nothing much happened. Uh, we ended up uh, getting some intel uh from uh, the event quit pro quo, quit pro quo and uh, we uh, know uh, or the cell knows Desi's past whatever that means uh, then after that uh, we after, after we got that Intel we headed to Stockholm so in Stockholm again nothing major happened we just... Uh, admired the architecture there, so whatever that means, well, uh, we still don't know what that uh, will do later. If we uh, get back to that, I'll let you know for sure. After that, we went through uh, to Reykjavik, then uh, past Arkham to Anchorage. So first I decided, uh, or was thinking that I would uh, stop by Arkham, but then I decided to highlight the new scenarios in this playthrough and not play the sides, uh, side quests that are available from uh, FFG for Arkham Horror the card game. So, in, Ar uh, An in Anchorage, uh, we uh, start the dealings with uh, fi uh, arriving at our lodge and getting some intel from the uh, foundation and uh, a lot of foundation agents have gone missing and then we are introduced uh, up to a prospector's jour journal that uh, tells us that there is a key here it is a lens of some kind it is hidden in a mine and we also hear that a coterie member Thorn is after the same uh, key as we are uh, we bump into Thorn on his way out of Anchorage towards uh, the wilderness uh, to search for the mine. So we uh, gather up some uh, resources and go after him, basically. And that's about it. And uh, <clears throat> during the setup, <clears throat> we also uh, are told that to check our... Uh, spent time and for each five spent time we have to add one doom token to the first act agenda so we start with two because we just uh, went past ten time spent after this uh, globe trotting uh, what other thing that does is that one of the uh, coterie members that is uh, we haven't seen the last of is shuffled into the deck and it is the uh, the beast in a crimson cowl enemy, so we have to possibly deal with that enemy too. But that is basically it. Uh, Blob trotting is done. Uh, we start the scenario soon enough, so let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin uh, on Thin Ice scenario. So, uh, so we have two Doom. At the start, we start in Anchorage, and there is a resign uh, there if we hit <laughs> hit the fan or something like that. Uh, then the quest for the Sable Glass, which is the key we are searching for. Uh, so we have the journal, so we have an uh, advantage uh, against the Coterie member Thorn. So uh, we have to find uh, the Condemned Gold Mine. So only investigators at the Condemned Gold Mine may spend the required number of clues to advance. We need three crews, so let's get going. And uh, everything is shuffled. We draw our opening hand of five cards. 
hoping to get something good. Okay, we redraw that. Well, we get something good. We get Chuck Burgers, Thieves Kit, and uh, Breaking and Entering Nimble and Eon Charge. So I think I'll keep everything here. And, uh, well, I think we can uh, Chuck Nimble. So we draw one more card. It is Sneak by. And that is our starting hand. I think we are playing the Thief Skit immediately, uh, followed by uh, Chuck Fergus. Then we can play trick events uh, cheaper uh, or fast or uh, what, uh, or with a plus two for the action they are providing. That is the deck shuffled. So first thing first, we play the Thief Skit. So Thieves Kit uh, costs 3 and uh, just put resources on it. So it comes into play with 6 resources. Now we can investigate with our agility. Second action, we'll actually investigate here. So I'm using the Thieves Kit to get a resource for next round. So, uh, we are investigating 5 versus 2. It is a 0, so we'll grab this clue, we'll get a resource. Last action, I think we will move to Fairbanks. So, Fairbanks is a 2 shroud location with 0 clues. Uh, trigger ability when an investigator at Fairbanks draws a hazard treachery, spend 2 resources to cancel that treachery's effect discard it. That is quite helpful if we get more resources. But that is everything we can do on the first round. Uh, no enemies yet, so we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, disguise, and we gain a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom to the agenda. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that there is a Void Chimera stalking the wilderness, so we need to be mindful of that enemy also. Uh, so we are at 3 of 7 Doom. The first encounter for these uh, Cracking Eyes. Hazard. Revelation. Cracking Eyes into play next to the agenda deck. Then, if there are 3 or more copies of Cracking Eyes next to the agenda deck, discard them all and each investigator at wilderness location test. Agility 4. Each investigator who fails must take one damage, take one horror, or lose uh, one action for each point they failed by. Well, we have agility for days, so I think that is not worth cancelling. So that is the mythos phase. First action, we'll use four resources to play Chuck Fergus. And uh, second action, we'll head to one of these Alaskan Wilderness locations. They are shuffled at the setup, so I don't know which is which. So we'll go... Let's start from the bottom. So, we find a mountain stream. One shroud, one clue, Wilderness. Post after you enter mountain stream. Test um, intellect or agility one. If you fail, take one damage. Post after the last clue is discovered from mountain stream. Put the set a tree set aside out there, wilderness location to play adjacent. Okay, well, uh, I think that that is a good thing. I have no idea if we should head there, but there is one clue. Now we need to test agility, so 5 versus 1. It is a 0, so we pass. Last action, we will uh, investigate using the thieves kit. So, investigating uh, 5 versus 1. Another 0. Well, aren't we lucky? We grab the clue, we get a resource. That is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card and gain a resource. We get optics. So, I think we have all of the clue tech we can have. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and. Uh, yeah, of course, I forgot to put the uh, uh, Outer Wilderness locations to play here, so I'll just place them like so. And they are connected to the 
on them stream. So I'll just set up them first before we continue. Okay. We add a doom. Four of seven encounter card for this round is uh, Snow Slide. There's agility tree. If you fail, you can hit asset with health. You control takes one direct damage. Well, uh, I am testing uh, five versus three, so not gonna sweat it, and we can take the damage. Uh, it is a tablet. Tablet is a minus two, so uh, minus five instead if Void Chimera is in, at your location. Well, it is a minus two, so it passed, so no damage. And that is the myth of space. This scenario seems to favor those investigators with a lot of agility, which we have. First action, I will play Eon Charge. And we'll put three secrets on it. Second action, uh, we'll just move up here. So we find a forgotten outpost. Uh, action draw three cards, limit once per game. I think we don't need that. Action sync and uh, there's a shroud of four one clue, so I think we can investigate here. So I'll uh, actually use Chuck Fergus so we can play. Oh, yeah, you have charge cost. So Chuck Fergus, uh, we can. Uh, Put fast on the event, uh, we can. Uh, the event cost too few early resources to play. I'll use that one. So we exhaust Chuck Fergus and play uh, Breaking and Entering as our second action. So, first action we moved, second action we'll investigate with Breaking and Entering. So, we are investigating uh, 6 versus 4. Uh, X, X is the number of hazard treasures in play. It is one. So, minus one. We gra grab this clue. Then uh, I'll use the Eon Charge to fast move back uh, here. And last action, we'll head over here. So, we find the condemned go gold mine. Six shroud, zero clues. Let's see what else reads here. So, uh, action reveal one random chaos token from the chaos pack. Plus one additional token for each depletion token on condemned gold mine. If you did not reveal a um, special super uh, in this way, gain four resources and place one resource from the token pool to on condemned gold mine as a depletion token. Okay, well, we can, can gain resources from here, but I think we don't need to. We are pretty much set up to investigate and evade, etc. So, uh, we have three clues, so we can advance. So we advance the, uh, the act number one. Negotiations. If this is agenda one, if it is agenda one, ignoring signs, uh, signs warning that the mine is condemned and, the, and dangerous, you trace a path to the branch Landry wrote about in his journal and find the sable glass buried in the rock. When you emerge, however, you are not alone. In either case, read scenario interlude, raw deal in the campaign guide. So I'll read the... Uh, I, I haven't read it yet, so I'll read it and I'll summarize what will happen. Okay, so uh, the first step is that uh, we meet Thorn. Uh, once we find the uh, keep, and uh, he tells us that he is not the enemy here. Uh, there is a creature stalking the woods, and that is the main concern here. So uh, we get a choice: uh, either we'll work with you for now, or no, we won fair and square. So, uh, because I'm a criminal and opportunist, uh, I role play as we'll work with you for now. So we skip to raw deal three. So Thorn says, brilliant, 
We shall have to pop some champagne when this is all over and done. Thorn snaps their fingers, calling their cohorts to attention. I believe we have some work to do. New Campalock record Cell made a deal with Thorn. Remove one Elder Thing token from the Chaos Pack and add one uh, Tablet token if there are already four each investor gains. Um, one experience. So we don't have any Elder Thing tokens in the back, but we have still have one uh, Tablet token. So I'll add that to the Chaos Pack. So put the Thorn story asset into play under the lead investor control and attach the Sable class key to Thorn stable side face up. Search the encounter deck discard file and all play areas for all cards on the Crimson Conspiracy encounter set and remove them from the game. So that was our last action. So I think um, I'll do that between turns. And well, that is everything. No enemies in play. We'll go upkeep. We draw a card, we get dirty fighting, and we gain a resource. And uh, uh, let's see what the uh, Act 2 says. So, Act 2, if it bleeds, Thorn said that uh, they were trying to track the predator in the woods. Although the beast leaves no trace, you can surely scout the surrounding area before learn luring it out. Action, if your location has uh, the wilderness trait, and investigator at your location spent uh, one clues per investigator as group placement resource on your location as a scouting report report limit one scouting report per wilderness location objective you may advance at the end of any round hint you will lure out the predator when you advance advance when you believe you are prepared okay so i think we try to advance before uh, we uh, hit the doom threshold there, but we'll see. So, uh, that is, and also we, yeah, so that is everything. So, that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we did the uh, changes into the game, so we have the thorn asset side based up, so two health, two sanity. And there's a trigger ability after an investigator at your location sets a card aside as follow exhaust horn. That investigator may take an immediate action as if it were their turn. And we have the sable class which lets us look at the unrevealed side of uh, the, these uh, concealed cards. Then uh, we removed this uh, co uh, the red conspiracy or the coterie conspiracy set from the encounter deck so we don't have to mind about those uh, then um, I think that's everything we have to go to these wilderness locations I'll actually put this location over here make some room and uh, uh, we have to place uh, resources on them by spending And then we can advance when we are ready. So, we add a doom. 5 of 7. Counterpart to this round is... Matter Inversion. So, Revelation attacks an outsider and enemy without a copy of... If you cannot match this can search. Okay, we will go to the next one. Uh, splintered Space. Attach, uh, attach uh, Splintered Space to your location and test uh, Agility Tree. If you fail, take one damage for each Hex Threat Tree attached to your location. After this test ends, if there are exactly three copies of uh, Splintered Space in play, discard them. So we attach it to our location. We test uh, 5 versus 1. I mean 5 versus 3. I'm not committing anything to this test. Elder Sign. So, uh, there is not an exhaust enemy at our location, so nothing happens, but we pass the test and won't take any damage. So, I'll just put this underneath here. First action, uh, we'll move out of here. Uh, we don't have, yeah, we have spent these clues, so we don't have any clues left, so we need to go find some more clues. Uh, we'll just move to outer wilderness and... Uh, here, so Hunter's Lodge. It is a wilderness location. So four shroud, one clue, 
pause when you reveal Hunter's Lodge, just um, uh, willpower or intellect free to talk, talk the Hunter down. If you fail, take one damage. Pause when a monster enemy enters this location, deal with one damage to it. Okay, well, I think we'll try with the willpower. Uh, we don't have any willpower icons to do it, but it's better than our intellect. So, uh, three versus three. Uh, cultist is a minus four. If you fail, choose a non weakness card in your hand and set it aside out of play as a follow. So, after an investigator at your location sets a card aside as a follow, exhaust the card. That investigator may take an immediate action as if it were their turn. So, we definitely do that. And um, I think we can do without lock picks at the moment. Or this guy. Uh, hmm. So uh, we'll put the disc guys as hollow, and I'll set the hollows here. So I get an extra action. Uh, which I will use uh, to investigate and I'll commit sneak bite to the test so I'm investigating uh... oh yeah this, this is the upgrade cliff skit so we're actually investigating uh, 6 versus 4 so 8 versus 4 minus 3 so we si still succeed uh, we won't succeed by two or more, so we only gain one resource from the thieves. So I'll just put this here, but we'll get this clue. That was our extra action. Last action, we'll uh, mark this location with the clue. So again, uh, if your location has the wilderness trait and investigator, your location spent one clues per investigator as a group. Place one resource on your location as scouting report. With one scouting report per other location. And that is our whole turn, but I will use the Eon chart here. And that is now our turn. No enemies uh, will go to upkeep. Ready cards. We draw a card. Atuktophobia. That's not the worst, but it's not nice and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Encounter card for this round is... Warped Reality. Attach to your location. Force after you end your turn at that location. Choose a non-weakness card in your hand and set it aside out of play as hollow. I think we just ignore that. Okay, uh, first action. We'll move to Fairbanks. And we'll move to this Alaskan Wilderness. Okay, Frozen Lake. Three uh, shroud, two clues. Post after an investigator at this location reveals a special symbol token during a skill test, they are performing. They must either choose and discard one card from their hand or take one card. Okay, well, <clears throat> let's see. So we want both of these clues so we can uh, next round. Well, I think we will advance. But it is what it is, so... I will... Uh, I will investigate. Using the thieves kit. So, uh, we are investigating... 6 versus... 3. Okay. Uh, it is a skull, so again it's a uh, one hazard because these are hexes. So, so we succeed by two, so we actually gain two resources. Oh yeah, uh, I think I just 
remove this so we'll get two resources and we get one clue and uh, I think that is it uh, no enemies will go to upkeep we draw a card for hearing and we gain a resource and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom so we advance. Hopefully we still have a bit more time to put these uh, uh, scout tokens over everywhere. So frozen pots. The frigid landscape fills you with a kind numbness. At first you dismiss the feeling as purely physical, a side effect of the cold. It is only when you stop and consider the feelings itself that it dawns on you. The numbness is a result of some strange influence. You are forgetting small moments, memories of the surrounding area. It is uh, as though your mind itself is being hunted and fed upon. Each investigator chooses an ally or item as in their hand or play and set it aside as hollow. Well, that's easy. We'll just put the old hearing. So, Eyes of the Void. As you explore the region, you cannot shake the feeling that you are being watched. It is as though a thousand eyes are staring directly at you, or perhaps through you. The surrounding forest is filled with a de deafening silence. So, uh, we'll also get an account card. And we have a six room threshold now. Uh, matter inversion, so this searches. We don't have any hollow enemies or the outsider enemies in play. Uh, we get another splinter space, so we'll test uh, agility 3, your uh, 5 agility, minus 1 we pass. So uh, that is the, that, but this attaches to this location. There are two copies of this now in play. Let's see. Uh, first action, we'll uh, spend the clue to put, uh, this is a wilderness, so we'll put one resource token on this location. Second action, we'll investigate, and we are again investigating uh, three versus three, I mean six versus three with the thieves kit. Zero. And uh, we get two resources out of this, so really good. We grab this clue, and uh, we'll use the last uh, charge from the Eon chart to move back here. And that is our turn. No, it's not. Uh, last action, we'll move over here. Okay, so we find the isolated road, uh, three shroud, two clues. Uh, the first hazard treachery revealed by an investigator at this location is run get search. It is a victory point one location, so we probably want to get the boost and uh, get the victory points. And that is everything. We'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, nimble, that's good, and we gain a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, so one of six encounters about this round is... Oh yeah, uh, actually uh, we, uh, we forgot to trigger Thorn, but it is what it is. So uh, when we lost the old hearing part, uh, we forget things. Uh, substance dissimulation. For each set aside hollow you own, <coughs> if there is, are one or more copies of the hollow in your play area and or hand, discard those copies and take one damage at one hour. If no cards are discarded by this effect, Choose a non-weakness card uh, you control in your hand to, or play area and set it aside as hollow. <coughs> well, uh, we have only one copy of each card in our deck, so that's great. But uh, we have to put one card aside as hollow and I think Thieves Kit may go. We'll play the lot fix to replace it. Then uh, we exhaust Thorn. So we get to make an extra action. 
and that action will be just to spend the clue or actually let's not spend the clue yet we'll uh, put the lock click uh, lock picks into play or play the lock picks rather and uh, it has three supplies on it okay first action we will uh, now spend this to place a resource over here and we will investigate using optics and uh, we are investigating six versus three elder sign well uh, still no exhaust enemies so We'll grab a clue. Last action, uh, I will play dirty fighting. So we'll just put it here. And that is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. We draw a card. Calculate risk. And we gain a resource. And this ready. So. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add one doom. Encounter card is... <laughs> Ravenous Grizzly. Hunter retaliates. Spawn nearest wilderness location. So it is this location. Ravenous Grizzly cannot enter non-wilderness locations. While Ravenous Grizzly is moving, it skips over connecting non-wilderness location. Okay, well, I think we will evade and defeat it by evading somehow so uh, it spawns on us and this is also ready okay well our first action we will investigate uh, no we will evade uh, so we are evading five versus two Minus three, that is enough. So this is evaded. And uh, second action, we will investigate using the lock picks. So six versus three. Minus four, we play, uh, break a lock pick, unfortunately. Uh, last action, we will uh, play the call, calculate risk and investigate. Uh, I am investigating... Uh, actually, um, let's just defeat this enemy. Or... No. Uh, let's just do it. So I'm committing the calculated risk. So we get plus two from dirty fighting. So we are uh, seven... 8, 9, 10 versus 3 or 2 and we need to succeed by 3 or more 10 versus 2, minus 4 uh, I think that's enough yeah yeah so that is discarded and uh, no enemies at our location, we'll go to upkeep, we get the lucky secret case, gain our resource, and that is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round, and I think I failed the investigation, so I'll take one for from that. Okay, and that is that round, let's go to the next round. We are a doom, 3 of 6, encounter card is emissary from Yogot, concealed 2. Post. After you discover a clue at the location with one or more concealed mini cards, if emissary of your god is in the shadow, it attacks you. Well, I think I'll take one attack and just ignore that. So we get the emissary to the boys. We shuffle.
Yeah, just another those. So, uh, first action. Uh, we will use the lock fix to investigate again. And I'll commit the nimble to the test so we can grab this clue and move out. Elder sign. Uh, we'll grab the clue, but this uh, hits us for one damage and one four. Really don't mind. And nimble, we succeed by a one, so we'll get to move three times. Uh, one, two, uh, three. And uh, second action, we'll spend a clue the resource here. Last action, we'll move over here. And I'll end my turn here, so we have to put the card uh, hand or and set it aside as hollow, but we'll get an extra action, which we'll use to spend the clue and place a this here. So let's now see. You may advance at any at the end of any round, so we'll end at advance at the end of this round. So no enemies at the location. Upkeep. Uh, we draw a card, grappling hook, and we gain a resource. And uh, we'll advance. So, the true face of terror. Spawn void, chimera, true form in the shadows, and resolve its concealed keyword. Distributing each of those concealed mini cards as evenly as possible among each wilderness location. Play for each location with a scouting report on it. You may look at the revealed side of the concealed mini card just play placed at that location. Okay, great. Prowling nightmare. So, the shifting. Chimeric form of the paradimensional beast flits in and out of you. It is playing games with you, much like a cat plays with a mouse. If you can expose it to its true form, perhaps you can turn the game on its head and banish it once and for all. Afterward, Chimera true form is exposed. Advance the act. Okay, so we get this one, two, three, four, and avoid Chimera true form. We shuffle these. There are one, two, three, four, five cards. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five of these locations. So, do this read the, well, this is the Bellhound, Bellbeak, Earth, Peter, Forefire, Feaster. I don't know what those mean, but I think. We'll have to figure that out. Okay, and uh, wilderness, wilderness, uh, wilderness, wilderness, and wilderness. Okay, that is the enemy phase done. Upkeep. Oh yeah, th because this location has two now, we have to mix these up. So no enemies, uh, we'll go upkeep, we draw a card, I'll take that, and we gain a resource. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, so uh, I forgot to do the scouting thing with these tokens, so uh, we'll start looking at these uh, which have the scouting. So this is a decoy. Decoy. Okay, so true form is at the Hunter's Lodge. Okay, so we know we need to go there and reveal that. How do we want to do this? Let's see.
So we can dirty fight and deal damage at least. So I think that's our option. Because I think we need to find it and heal. So first action. We'll move over here. Second action. We will investigate using the optics here. And I'll just commit this because I probably won't be playing the grappling hook. Actually I'm committing the grappling hook. Uh, we are investigating uh, 6, 7, 8 versus 4. And it is uh, minus 2 because the Void Chimera is not at our location yet. But I think it soon will be. Because we reveal this. Then uh, we'll uh, advance. At the Void Chimera, true form is exposed. Advance the act. Outsider's Lair. Revelation put Outsider's Lair in play and move Void Chimera through form and each investigator at its location to Outsider's Lair. Uh, while Outsider's Lair is, has no clues on it, Void Chimera true form gets minus one and minus one Okay, which is the true form? Okay, so these are the uh, wrong ones. Uh, this is the true so this is concealed for massive, but oh yeah, this should have been the shadows actually, but uh, no matter. And uh, if there is, would have been another form in play, we can't uh, expose this, but we skip that. So pause. after you expose one of void for Chimera's decoys, find the set aside version and matching set I don't spawn it, but we skip that. Luckily. Uh, so that is in play. Last action, we'll just evade it, and we will evade committing this. So six versus four minus two. It is evaded, so we don't take damage when it uh, readies. So we are at this location. There are two clues here, and uh, this is exhausted there. But enemy face it readies upkeep. Uh, we draw a card. Uh, Intel report and we gain a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we had a doom. And then counter card for this round is. Uh, it is another Ravenous Grizzly. Or Ravenous Grizzly and uh, nearest wilderness location. So <coughs> uh, this isn't connected to anything. So we'll just put it here, so it will get one damage on it. And I think we would have removed all of these. No, actually we won't, because we have one another enemy in the shadows still. Okay, so I'm just switching these a bit closer here. Okay, so first action... So I think we don't need to mind about this because it can't get here, it can't enter non wider wilderness locations. So first action we'll just evade this enemy. Uh, we are evading uh, No, uh, first thing is that we'll use Chuck Burgers to play Intel report as a fast action. So we don't take an attack of opportunity, and I will overpay. So pay four and play it as a fast and grab two clues from my location. Now uh, it has minus one fight, minus one evade. First action we will evade. Yes, uh, so the first action five versus three. Minus two, so it is evaded. Then, uh, dirty fighting while it attacking, while or attempting to evade an exhausted enemy, you get plus two skill value. After you evade an enemy, soft dirty fighting, take a fight action against that enemy, ignoring the aloof keyword for this attack. So we uh, can uh, engage 
freely. Then we'll do an attack. So we'll immediately get uh, take a fight action. So we are uh, fighting four versus three. And it is an elder th uh, sign if there is an anti-certification force with this specific. So we deal one damage. Second action, we'll uh, dirty fight again. So again, plus two to this test. And uh, we are five versus three now because there are no clues at this location. Zero, another damage, so two damage off. Last action. Again, uh, four versus three. Plus one, uh, one more damage, so one damage away from defeating this enemy. Uh, no enemy actions, because this doesn't move, there's no path to us. Uh, we'll go to upkeep, we draw the moon and we gain a resource so that is that round and this ready is in the upkeep this ready is in the upkeep so that is that round let's go to the next round we add a doom so five of six encounter card is figures in the dark if there are no enemies in the shadows, figures in the dark again first. Otherwise, you must decide each enemy in the shadows attacks you. Uh, I'll just take the attack. One damage and one more. Uh, so, now we have three. Uh, well, first off, we will evade. I am evading. Uh, five versus. Three. There are still no clues. So, 5 versus 3 minus 2, this is evaded. Now, I will flip uh, the Eye of Raven's key, which I forgot I have. Uh, test. Uh, we will do the test uh, with a base skill of 6. So, uh, we are attacking, and we attack with the Dirty Fight. So, we are uh, 8 versus 3. Minus two, so that is enough damage on this enemy. Uh, it is defeated, and we'll advance. So, uh, if the Void Chimera true form is defeated, advance the act. The killing blow. As you land a final blow, the shifting violent thing collapses into itself with a noisome cacophony and a sudden su suction of air. As its form crumbles, the strange other world around you also begins to disintegrate and you find yourself drawn back to reality in a rush of static and ozone. Uh, check which version of Thorn is in play. If the Thorn story asset is in play, resolution 1. We have the Thorn uh, resolution or Thorn story asset in play. So we get the resolution 1. Okay, so I won't go into the story text, but uh, I think Thorn gets the uh, is the beer of the sable glass. So yeah, uh, each investigator earns experience equal to victory x value of each card in the victory display. We have one, two, three, four. Are there any more? So I think that is four experience. I'll double check later. So I have five after the, the last two scenarios. Then, Thorn is the bear of the Sable Glass. Update the campaign log accordingly and uh, mark three times in your campaign log made for. So, uh, with that, uh, the, on the thin ice scenario is completed. I think we did pretty well. We got the setup done quite fast. Uh, the, uh, Thief's tools helped us a lot in that. Also, Chuck Fergus helped us quite a lot in this scenario, so not sad to upgrade those into my deck. But we'll see what I'll upgrade to my next uh, playthrough, and uh, we'll 
have to see where I will head off after this. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.